The NBA has been home to many franchises, some extremely successful, such as the Boston Celtics and the Los Angeles Lakers, some that go through peaks and troughs of success, such as the Golden State Warriors, and some that have never tasted success, but have to continue to put themselves in a position to experience it, such as the Denver Nuggets. In this video, we are going to do a deep dive analysis of the Denver Nuggets franchise, uncovering little known facts and whether there are any potential catalysts that will drive the team on to success. The Troubled Founding When the Nuggets were formed, initially as the Larks before being renamed to the Rockets, it was anything but smooth sailing, as we will see in this anecdote. The Denver Nuggets were formed in 1967 as the Denver Rockets after franchise rights were awarded to a consortium based in Kansas City, Missouri headed by businessman James Trindle. However, after being unable to find a suitable area in Kansas City to develop the team, the decision was made with league commissioner at the time, George Mikan, to move the team to Denver. The franchise was initially underfunded and Mikan ordered the team to raise a $100,000 performance bond or risk losing the franchise completely. Trindle sold his controlling stake in the team to local trucking businessman Bill Ringsby, who renamed the team from the Denver Larks to the Denver Rockets. ABA years. During the ABA years, 1969 to 1976, they had a history of disappointing early playoff exits, and they failed to reach a single ABA championship series. Some of the local heroes of the time were Byron Beck, a powerful forward who could also play at center, who achieved playing on the ABA All-Stars twice in 1969 and 1976. Beck was known for his tenacious rebounding ability, despite not being blessed with outstanding natural talents. He was looked upon so favorably by supporters that the Nuggets retired his number 40. Another favorite was Larry Jones. Jones spent three years with the Denver Rockets and became the first player in ABA history to achieve 5,000 career points. Jones had an excellent jump shot and made the All-ABA first team in three consecutive seasons between 1967 and 1970. Lonnie Wright Another interesting fact that Denver have to their name is that they had a player that played professional football and professional basketball in the same season, Lonnie Wright. Wright joined Denver from the local football team, the Broncos, and he spent four seasons playing basketball for them. Spencer Haywood The Nuggets also signed the controversial rookie Spencer Haywood. Haywood was controversial due to the fact that he'd turned professional before graduating from college. Haywood turned pro after his sophomore season and joined the Rockets. At the time, he led the league in scoring with 30 points per game and then jumped across to the Seattle Supersonics, breaking the rule that a player must be at least four years out of high school before he can join the league. While Haywood played in Denver, he led the franchise to a winning record of 51-33, finishing as winners of their division before suffering a disappointing exit in the second round. After he left, the team fell off to 30-54, and, and attendances dropped off steeply as a result. Move to the NBA. In 1974, the franchise made the decision, under new ownership, to move to the NBA and also move to the McNichols Arena. A contest was held to decide a new name and Nuggets was chosen. To complete the new branding, a new logo was designed, which was in the form of a miner discovering an ABA ball. After this rebranding, the franchise made some very shrewd personnel decisions as they drafted David Thompson out of North Carolina State. They also signed Marvin Webster, Dan Isel, and Bobby Jones, and appointed Larry Brown as coach. David Thompson was known for his tremendous leaping ability, and he became one of the league's best dunkers during this period, earning the nickname Skywalker after the popular Star Wars film that had just burst onto the scene. Michael Jordan was quoted as saying, The whole meaning of vertical leap began with David Thompson. Thompson ultimately had his number, 33, retired from the franchise after spending seven seasons with them. Dan Isel Dan Isel was a prolific scorer on the team and spent 10 seasons with them between 1975 and 1985. He had his number, 44, retired by the Nuggets, and while playing in Denver, he was a six-time ABA All-Star. He played 718 games in Denver and averaged 20.4 points and 7.9 rebounds per game. He is the franchise's second all-time leading scorer and he accumulated over 27,000 points in his career. Larry Brown The coach at the time, Larry Brown, led Denver to some of their most successful seasons. He won an NBA championship in 2004 as coach of the Detroit Pistons and was the coach of the year in 2001. Despite leading the team onto dominant regular season records, including a 65-16 record, which included 40-2 at home, they were unable to go deep into the playoffs, and this was a trend that runs through the history of the franchise. 
ABA Finals. In the 1975-76 season, the Nuggets ousted the defending champion Kentucky Colonels four games to three to make the 1976 ABA Finals. However, they were unlucky enough to come up against Julius, Dr. J, Irving, and the New York Knicks who emerged victorious. Unfortunately for the Nuggets, they did not get a chance to win the ABA championship again as the merger between the ABA and NBA took place the following season and the Nuggets amongst others, such as the Pacers and Spurs, were merged into the NBA. 1982-89 to Between 1982 and 1989, the Nuggets were dominant in terms of points per game. They were led by Alex English and Kiki Vandewega at small and power forward and Dan Eisel at center. Alex English had his number, two, retired after spending 10 seasons with the Nuggets and featuring eight times as an All-Star and making the All-NBA second team on three occasions. He was also the NBA scoring champion for 1983, becoming the only Nugget to hold this honor. Kiki Vandewege was a German-American player who featured for the Denver Nuggets between 1980 and 1984, making it to the All-Star Weekend on two occasions. During the time, Denver led the league in scoring and English and Vandewege averaged above 25 points per game. The Nuggets won their decision several times in this period and went deep into the playoffs. After Vandewege was traded away, the Nuggets acquired three new players from the Trailblazers. Guard Fat Laver, center Wayne Cooper, and power forward Calvin Natt. The Nuggets managed to win 54 games in the 87 to 88 season, the most that they had ever won. However, they again suffered a disappointing playoff exit in the second round to the Dallas Mavericks. Dikembe Mutombo. In 1991, after a few years of declining success, the team drafted in Georgetown University center Dikembe Mutombo who finished runner-up as NBA Rookie of the Year in his first season. Mutombo went on to play for Denver for five seasons between 1991 and 1996, and made the All-Star team on three occasions. Whilst there, he also won the NBA Defensive Player of the Year in 1995, as well as winning Blocks Leader three times in a row between 95 and 96. All of these accolades resulted in the Nuggets retiring his 55 jersey number. In the 1994 playoffs, the 8th seeded Denver Nuggets were pitted against the top seed Seattle Supersonics in the first round. It looked to be business as usual when Seattle took the first two games. However, Denver won both their home games to tie the series at 2-2. Upon returning to Seattle, the local fan base would have been well within their rights to expect Denver to crash out. After all, the Sonics had won 37 out of 41 home games in their regular season, but it wasn't to be, and Denver won in overtime to become the first 8th seed to ever beat a first seed in a playoff series. More recent times. We are now getting into more recent times and the names will become more recognizable for our more modern viewers. We now get into the 2003 season where Denver had a lottery pick. They chose Carmelo Anthony with a third pick in the 2003 draft. Carmelo, as we all know, is an individualist who on his day has the ability to set the scoreboard alight, but struggles to fit into a team dynamic. This is something that has arguably stopped him from becoming an all-time great. The Nuggets also appointed George Carl as the head coach, who led the team to 32-8 in the second half of the season. In December 2006, Anthony, J.R. Smith, and Nene were suspended by the NBA for a fight that happened in the last two minutes of a game against the Knicks, which occurred as a result of Knicks player Marty Collins tackling J.R. Smith during a breakaway layup. This affected the Nuggets, who traded away some of their players, including Andre Miller, for Allen Iverson. This move gave them two of the truly elite scorers in the game at the time, in Anthony and Iverson. If it appeared that this was a match made in heaven, and it would lead the Nuggets to the holy grail of a championship, it wasn't long before cracks started to show. They achieved 50 wins in the regular season, which was the first time since the 1987-88 season, however, were swept by the Lakers in the first round. In 2011, Anthony was traded away to the Knicks as the which resulted in the Nuggets' best start through Tony Games. Gallinari unfortunately injured his ankles, wrists, and thumbs in the season and struggled to game form after that. Iguodola Denver acquired Iguodola in August of 2012, and this led to a new emphasis on teamwork and resulted in them achieving their best franchise record of 57-25, with a 38-3 record in the Mile High Stadium. These results led to the league fearing playing in Denver, and whether it was because of increased teamwork or players suddenly realizing just how high above sea level the stadium was, players began to struggle to play towards the latter stages of games. We are now going to look at records that the Nuggets have. Alex English is the leader of minutes played, assists, and points. 
showing how dominant he was during his time in Denver. He recorded almost 30,000 minutes for the team and 21,645 points. Dikembe Mutombo leads the way in blocks with 1,486 and won NBA Defensive Player of the Year in the 1995 season. They have not won any championships, however have won 11 division championships, most recently in 2019. Current Situation of the Nuggets The current situation appears to be Nikola Jocic leading the way, and the Nuggets currently sit third in the standings behind the two LA teams. It may be that the Nuggets can make a serious run at the championship if the season can get underway again. We'll just have to wait and see. If you like this video and would like to see more deep dives into franchise histories, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest news from the world of the NBA. Just a quick reminder that we post Monday to Friday, so make sure to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post our videos. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for the next video.